Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. And if you're just joining, well, you are on time for the first conversation of the day around career. And today we want to talk about a very interesting topic, accountability. So what exactly is it? Uh, how can accountability help you progress in life and career? And we'll also have a twist to it to look at uh, accountability in men specifically because we are joined by a masculinity advocate uh, who is also a media personality. I'm talking about uh, Austin Agwanda. Karibu sana Austin. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. Yeah. Sasa tuanza ukituambia, who's a masculinity advocate for those that are wondering? Um, um, a masculinity advocate is uh, basically um, empowering the, the, the boy child, being able to uh, give the, the men a safe space to, mm -hmm. to have a discussion on, uh, on masculinity, their identity, uh, share their wounds, tell their story. Uh, and just to engage them on how they are supposed to be there in the community, even in in our modern in our modern time. So, uh, uh, being a masculinity advocate uh, uh, means that uh, we mm -hmm. we we are able to uh, do uh, a program for the men and educate them on on what it means to be a man, defining the role, and just having a discussion on what it means to be a man in the in the modern day yeah okay quite interesting uh, you because you've mentioned it what is it uh, you know being a man what does it mean to be masculine in uh, the modern day in the in the modern day a man is supposed to uh, i will define uh, mm -hmm. a man in a, in a, in four ways a man should be able to take initiative so i will define a real man is a man who takes initiative mm -hmm. Is a man who lives responsibly. Mm -hmm. Is a man who loves faithfully, and is, is a man who will want to leave a, a wonderful legacy. What do you want to be to be remembered for? So um, uh, we, we we take it in terms of the, the four: uh, uh, takes initiative, loves faithfully, uh, lives Once. sacrificially, and lives a, 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 a wonderful legacy. So that is how we define. Uh, masculinity. Wow, quite interesting. I mean, yes. we can go into that and maybe we will at the end of it because I'm very curious what all uh, the four mean, what mm. uh, you know they entail. But now let's take a look at accountability yes. uh, generally first and especially in career. So what is accountability in the first place? Um, accountability, I look at in terms of um, a way or a system that uh, makes you to grow as a person. Mm -hmm. um, many a times people look at uh, accountability as a, as a way of answering uh, to a person, which is true, mm -hmm. but it's more of um, reshaping your character, having somebody uh, mm -hmm. um, that is guiding you through, through life. So I as much as people look it in terms of uh, answering, uh, answering to a person, mm -hmm. it's more of um, it reshapes your, your character by having someone that uh, is guiding you through life, family, uh, relationship in, in your career. Uh, like now uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in the media industry, you'll have a boss who, who you are accountable to. Mm -hmm. So you, you, the, the boss is able to, to guide you. So someone that can be able to, you have a conversation and you report to, and you are vulnerable to, and uh, have honest conversation. So uh, that's what accountability is. Go, you have said uh, someone you're vulnerable to, and then you've mentioned, you know, given an example of a boss. But can you, uh, is that, how realistic is that? Can you be vulnerable to your boss? Um, it depends with the with the relationship uh, you, uh, you have, mm -hmm. but even in the in you find that even in the in the job industry, you will find that at at one point you'll be able to have even not even your boss, but in that space where you are as a maybe a colleague, an accountability partner, somebody who is keeping you on it, check. In uh -huh. it, 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 it does not uh, mean necessarily to be your boss. Uh, that might be sometimes a bit v funny. Very hard, you know. Very, <laughs> very hard. Um, yeah, being that now you look at your boss in terms of uh, there's how you look, your, mm -hmm. you view your boss. So it, it might be 
not easy to be vulnerable, but have somebody who is keeping you on check. Uh, maybe you have an ambition, a, a goal where you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. So the person is keeping you on check in terms of the, 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 the space Things that, that you're you supposed to do. Yeah. So basically, it's someone you can be answerable to. Yeah. And someone to, as you've said, keep you in check. So that's an accountability partner yeah. that you need to have. And we'll, we we'll want to talk about uh, being accountable to yourself first before we get into that. But first, what is the difference between responsibility and accountability? Because some people also confuse the two. Mm. There's responsibility, and this is to self now, responsibility and accountability. Um, being responsible, I look at in, in terms of uh, it starts with uh, you but being mm -hmm. being honest with your uh your responsible um uh as a person that means you are there is a certain mm -hmm. uh, aspect of of discipline that you that you what, what do i say that um, a certain aspect of discipline that you you put yeah yeah but uh, when you look at accountability you you morally depend on the, uh, the, the, the other person to be, that comes from the other person so that you identify a person who you can be able to, to share or uh, a person who can be able to have that particular, con who, who is honest with you, mm -hmm. who will look you to the eye and say, uh, Stephanie, why, yeah. why, are you coming, why are you coming to work late? Somebody who's not afraid. To so, tell you the truth. To tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. Look eye to eye and be able to, to guide you and and even in your in your career so somebody who is can be able to to guide you through life because you can you can't do life alone mm -hmm. but in terms of responsibility it starts from you you take that particular initiative once you are responsible then you become accountable to the to the other person okay now i i get you and that's still on accountability by someone else. But if I define it as um, responsibility being more on task oriented, so you have this that you have to do, and then the results now, you take ownership of the results, the outcome of it. So whether it was good or bad, now you're accountable to it. You, you, you are, you are you know, sort of in a position to explain what happened. And if something went wrong, you take accountability, uh, ownership of that. C can that be a distinction? Yeah, that, that, that can be a, a distinction because uh, you are responsible of whatever you, whatever you do. Mm -hmm. uh, so whatever you, you are doing in your life and yeah. whatever discipline you put in your life that you are going to do, mm -hmm. it comes, um, it, might ha it might have a positive out of it, it might have a consequence out of it. So uh, the decision you make as, as an individual uh, of, the, of what you do mm -hmm. comes... Uh, with uh, positivity and also consequences based on, based on what you have, uh, you have decided to, to, to do. So is it good to be accountable to, to self uh, in, in accordance to work that you've done? Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's advisable to be honest to, to self. Mm -hmm. You have to be honest to, your, to yourself. You know yourself uh, personally. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe other people who know, who doesn't know some part of you, but you, you can be able to know part of yourself. Mm -hmm. So when you are honest with yourself, it makes you product, productive because you are not, you are not lying for yourself. You are not lying. Uh, you know what you, are, what you are capable of, mm -hmm. even in that particular work, workplace. You can pretend, but now for how, for how long for will you be long? able to... To, to pretend. Okay, so you, you've said accountability also involves being honest. Yeah, accountability. So they go together. Means, yeah, accountability means being honest, mm -hmm. being um, being vulnerable because you'll want to know more, you'll want to inquire more because somebody is guiding you through life. Uh, there's something we normally say uh, in our group of men that men are made men in the company of other men. Okay. So, you are not only you are not only self-made. Even mm -hmm. even as um, with your colleagues, you cannot be self-made as an individual. You need others to be able to to guide you. So you need a band of 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 uh, people mm -hmm. to be able to do life with. You you you, you can't be self-made. You can't rise alone. So you need people mm -hmm. to to be around you to guide you in one or two 
areas yeah okay and i love the quote you said men men are made men in the company of other men and yes. truly you are really an advocate of uh, you know m uh, men's masculinity yeah. before we get into another men discussion because we're getting there as in still in the workplace in leadership how how does accountability and leadership look like you are the boss so how are you accountable in the workplace and how does that increase productivity um, when you are when you are accountable to maybe let's say you are, you are accountable to to your boss it means no the boss now being accountable to you to you know in the workplace how does it look like how can the boss be accountable because yeah so the uh, boss can be accountable to to the employees mm -hmm. because one um, everyone in the workplace might uh, might see you as somebody who doesn't have issues flaws yes doesn't have flaws mm -hmm. so when you're in a workplace and you can be able to to show your employees that it, it is not always that i have it all together mm -hmm. so that they don't think that you are uh, in a space where you don't go uh, through anything you come to the office you don't have issues so sometimes as a boss you have issues and it uh it it interferes with how you relate with the employees. Maybe you come, you're angry, and, and nobody understands. Mm -hmm. And maybe the employees are, on, are not also in a position to ask you, are you, are you okay? Mm -hmm. And also him in that position is not able to start having a conversation because of the hierarchy between uh, the, 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 job, the job description. Okay. So the, 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 the boss can be able to be accountable to, to the employees being able to show that 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 sometimes things can go right that sometimes things can go wrong show that the other side of of him mm -hmm. apart from being an administrator apart from being the leader of that particular company you should be able to show that other side so that it it also makes the the people you work with have ease okay because if they only and see one aspect of you just give task. Mm -hmm. You are you are always do this, do this, do this, because sometimes it gives that space for also other employees so that they can also be able to to share. Maybe they want an increase on 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 salary. On salary. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to approach you, but you have not given them that room to be able to express that because they have not seen mm -hmm. that side that side of you. Okay. So it it makes the delivery of the company so easy. Mm -hmm. And so because the, the relationship between the, the, the boss and the employees becomes easy and yeah. And um, in an instance where the boss um, takes ownership of maybe uh, something that went wrong, uh, something he was supervising, you know, it's easy for a leader to do blame game, yeah? But when the boss takes his own share or her own share of... Uh, you know, blame in something that of a consequence that happened in the workplace is that accountability too? Yeah, taking taking ownership is is a, is the is a, is a first step because you have identified me. Is, I'm the person who had that particular um, uh, problem or caused that particular problem, mm -hmm. uh, and so going to the uh, calling for a meeting and say this is what happened and I take ownership of whatever happened, it shows a lot to the, to the employees. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't, if, if you don't uh, go out there and say, I'm not responsible and try to find one or two employees to, to blame, mm -hmm. it shows a sign of leadership by you owning, owning mm -hmm. up. So you, by, by you owning up, it, it shows that uh, you are fast, you are, you are honest. And that's what we are saying in initially. Mm -hmm. You are responsible for whatever has happened. First, you are honest with yourself. And again, you are honest with the people that you are leading. Okay. So it makes the workspace so, so easy because now you are honest with yourself, you are honest with the employees, and they can be able to trust you. And uh, when it will reach a point when also one of the employees has a problem, they can be easy to... To on, share to and own take up ownership without uh -huh. uh, without looking at what will the boss say will, will I be sacked mm -hmm. because now you have created a room 
for people to be able to share and own up. So it okay. gives the, the employees room to be able to, to own up and mm. say, this is the problem. If my boss can share, I can I also can share. share. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So would you say that increases productivity in the workplace? Yeah, it increases productivity because now then the, the, the environment in which you work we, is, not, is not tensed. Mm -hmm. People are free. If you go out, for example, um, I'm a journalist, if you go out there and you didn't have, a, a, you are, you're supposed to take a shot and you don't have that shot. You say, we went to the field, mm -hmm. we, we, arrived al we, uh, we arrived late mm -hmm. and we didn't uh, get that shot. But what can we do alternatively? So you, you look for a, a solution, but you have, you have been able to own up because the boss has created a, a safe space for, so for people to share and for people to own up if there is a problem and immediately look for a solution mm -hmm. without sticking to, to, to the problem. We move, we move on very fast to get a solution. Okay, yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, still on accountability, there's this particular quote that I read by Manuel Cora Corazari. He said, uh, without accountability, there will be no growth. So speak of that a little bit, how uh, it's associated with growth, accountability. Yeah, when you look at, uh, that's what I was saying I initially, even in, in the first place, mm -hmm. it goes with, um, it goes with gr growth because one, you are not, um, when you're accountable to someone in terms of uh, even mm -hmm. in the workplace, the person is pouring out more to you. The person uh, is willing to, to share mm -hmm. more to you because um, of that being able to uh, be accountable to him, being honest also to, being honest to, both of you are honest, both of you can be able to, to, to say, this is, uh, this is what is, is happening and um, being able to share the truth to, to, to each other. So this growth comes in terms of you can be able to share a lot. Mm -hmm. What um, when, when you're in a company and the company has a vision board, what is, what's the vision of, of, of this particular company? So the person is keeping you on check. Mm -hmm. You have a goal. How long do you want to meet this particular goal? Mm -hmm. How long do you want to be in the industry? Okay. What does it take to, to move from one department to, another. to the other? Mm -hmm. So it's a point of keeping you on check, keeping you unaccountable, asking you the, the, right, the right questions. Mm -hmm. So if you are asking you what are you doing daily, on a daily basis to make sure that you are growing, so the person is being able to keep you uh, in on check. check. Okay. So the person is looking at are you growing daily? And the person is keeping you, you on, on toes. Yeah. And you said there has to be honesty. And this is someone that is not afraid of you. You know, someone you can be answerable to at any point in time. And you have also uh, brought in that aspect. They keep you in check. Are you growing it's from this level to the other? So does it mean that it's someone who has to know your vision, your, the plans that you have so that they, you know, keep you in check? Yeah. When, when we are talking about accountability, is we are looking at a person that um, you are have a relationship with. So you have to have a relationship with that yeah, person. Yeah, because at, at, at that point, you are not going to be able to share. And, that, uh, and when we were looking at in terms of the boss being vulnerable, he has created a room, a rapport for the, that relationship, for that, uh, for that conversation to, to start. Mm -hmm. So that there has to be a relationship for that particular conversation to be able to, if you don't have a relationship, if I don't have a relationship with you, it will be on, um, we'll be working on a colleague basis, basis mm -hmm. but we'll not have more, more than that. We'll not have more that discussion. Mm -hmm. So we'll be coming to work, we'll be just doing our work, but when we don't create that uh, environment for that relationship, mm -hmm. then I will not be able to, to, to open up or to be, uh, to be able to, uh, to be, to be honest. All right. So we, tr we try to look at that in terms of being, being honest. So once you are honest, the person can be able to know what's the problem. When you don't share, when you're not honest, I cannot be able to help from my, from my end. Mm -hmm. So the person from the other end can help because he knows this is, this is what you are, this is because you have said, I've come and told you this is the problem and this and this. So I can be able to help from that point okay. because you have been honest and now I can be able to, to help you. 
So now that brings me to the question, how do you identify someone who can be your accountability partner? Yeah, someone who can be your accountability partner uh, is someone, uh, one, someone you know, mm -hmm. your accountability um, partner, someone you, um, you look up to, Mm -hmm. So you can be able to identify somebody who is ahead of you. Look it at in terms of your workplace. Look at it in terms of your career. Your career. Mm -hmm. You'll want somebody to be accountable to you. There's this person you admire and you want him to or her to be accountable to you. Because that... You that, should be accountable to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, you are looking at that in terms of there are things that... Um, the pitfalls that they went through that you not want to go through yourself hmm. so you, you will want to have someone who has gone ahead of you who can be able to hold you a uh, account and maybe share their stories on their journey on uh, on uh, for example uh, journalism on what they have gone through so you look for somebody who has gone ahead of you because also as a as a as an employee there's something you're looking for there's some something that you, you will spot in somebody and say this particular person has um, what, what I need. Mm -hmm. uh, so the aspect that you look. There's an aspect mm -hmm. th that you look. Um, maybe I will want to do anchoring like somebody. So there's something that you, you look. So you, you'll go and reach out to someone who you, you look up to. Uh, maybe uh, sometimes you may not be able to, in a position to, to reach out to that person because somebody might be saying, uh, what if I look for accountability partner and that person is un unreachable or maybe that person is a celeb mm -hmm. and I cannot be able to get them to get them but you should be able to get someone who is close yeah someone who knows you as much as you know them they, yeah. they also so, need to know yeah, your accountability partner I see people saying my mentor is on the other side or accountability partner is someone on on a movie the other side the person does not know you but mm -hmm. the way we say it is a person you should be able to have a relationship, with, yeah. have a conversation with you not know, somebody that is far, mm. far from you. Yeah. Okay. So a mentor can is an account can be an accountability partner. Yeah. But so uh -huh. so there's a, an aspect of a, accountable um, in different aspect. Mm -hmm. That um, somebody will want you to be accountable uh, for him or her in terms of sexual purity, in yeah. terms of family, in mm -hmm. terms of goals, in terms of finances. Mm -hmm. So that. And, uh, and again, you will find that you have different, you are allowed to be, have, be able to have different mentors on different, uh, on different things. Maybe you have a mentor on, on this, family, finances, deep mm -hmm. leadership. So m you may have different uh, mentors, but accountability partner is someone you should be able to have a relationship with. And it can also be your mate, just a colleague that wants to keep you accountable. Yeah, so when, uh, when you are talking about accountability, uh, there are three people you, you should be able to ac be accountable to. Uh -huh. There are people who are ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Those that you look up to. Those, those, can, those, that, now. Uh -huh. those that can rebuke you. Those that you cannot speak. Um, he says a word you cannot speak uh, after, after that word. Back, uh -huh. Then you have those that are your peers, your colleagues. They are, they are of your same... Uh, age bracket or um, you work in that particular space mm -hmm. so that there are people who are ahead of you the old people that are your peers then there's the people who are younger than you that they are young and they look up to you okay so, so that can also be accountability accountability partner. so they keep you accountable because you know uh, someone out there is looking uh, out for Stephanie you mm -hmm. want to be Stephanie you want to be on a on TV, mm -hmm. so you know that whatever you do, it affects somebody outside there. Okay. So you are accountable on what you do, knowing that there are young people outside there that are looking at you, and mm -hmm. you want to be like you. So whatever you do, mm -hmm. you look at you look it in terms of the people who are looking uh, uh, up to you. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So now let us. Uh, roll it back to now men and accountability. Yes. How how does that look like? Um, compared to compared to ladies, mm -hmm. most ladies uh, have relationship. They have conversations, but you'll find as men men don't 
like being answerable to to anyone mm -hmm. because mimi mwanaume <laughs> i know what i'm doing mm -hmm. maybe i'm having a problem it is my problem Let me deal I, will, with it. i will fix it i will deal with i will deal with it mm. so men look at it in terms of this is my problem i will fix it i don't have to be answerable to anyone. to be anyone but that is a dangerous um, i will call it a dangerous way to go Mm -hmm. uh, being not being able to accountable and sometimes even people misbehave yeah. in relationship because they don't have people who are accountable to them or people who talk to people who talk to them so can you be can you be able to be accountable and let somebody ask you a question mm -hmm. so do you have men who are accountable to you when you misbehave mm -hmm. does it have to be men men being accountable to men or can a lady be accountable a, a man be uh, held accountable by a lady let's say even in a relationship so i want to to keep you accountable in matters your career yeah you you can be you can be able to have accountability now it goes back again to mm -hmm. the relationship you 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 have with that particular person yeah so th that somebody will say unaniambia unaniambia kama nani so th there is that aspect mm -hmm. because not everybody will want i will not want everybody to talk to me ask me anything just anybody so it means you, you want it's not just anybody that will want you questions because you, you, people will want to ask you questions and you ask you are asking as as who in my in, mm -hmm. in, in my life because people but depending on the relationship you can be able to keep a keep account the other the other gender but it de also depends on that on, on the on the relationship mm -hmm. you have with that person okay so you're saying men should uh, also be accountable yeah to either they should have someone they are they are, um, they are accountable mm -hmm. even in terms of even the the relationship yeah uh for a lady if you if if you are dating a man and you are in a relationship mm -hmm. and for example you are Um, you are in a relationship or mm -hmm. your wife has has a has an issue and he knows that i have accountability partners can your girlfriend be able to go to to the men that I, they know are my accountability partners and say austin is out of out of order can you talk to austin mm -hmm. so you, you should be able to have um accountability partners that even your wife or girlfriend can be able to to approach because even when you are dating as a lady when a man does not have an accountability partner or someone authority above 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 him it's a it's a red flag this person does not have someone um is answer, uh, answerable to or accountable to mm -hmm. so when the relationship go, goes to um south south mm. who 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 do you go to you don't you don't you don't know him Uh, you don't know who is accountable to him who can speak to to him mm -hmm. so we should be able to have uh, accountability to to each other and also identify accountability partners that also our girlfriends or even our our wives can be able to to approach, to approach. so that they can call you to 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 order and say Austin uh, your wife is saying this i think you are not you are not in the in line in line and we are calling you on the on the on the right line okay. so that as a lady uh, as you date you know you must be able to have somebody who is accountable or has an authority that that person answers to okay yeah. amazing this statement that you said like i'm back to it again men men are made men by being by 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 what something in the, in the company, company of other men. men yes yes so uh, i know it's almost self explanatory but you want to add more to it Yeah, yeah so it, it goes uh it goes back to ha men having a safe space where we can be able to to talk and have conversations as as men because when we are men we can be able to mm -hmm. to talk to each other yeah. to share even to be able to share our our emotions now that i'm um uh, when you find that when we are when when there is a lady Uh, mm -hmm. amongst amongst us we cannot be able to to have that to safe, open up mm -hmm. open up and have that particular space mm -hmm. so you must have a band of brothers that you are working with that are keeping you uh, um, on check 
that uh, you do you do life with in different in different aspects so you must have a band of brothers that you, you work with and uh, that make sure that they guide you through also the the process of of, uh, of masculinity but what kind of band of brothers do you need because there are band of brothers that will just take you kwa sherehe na mtochane huko and then it just ends the yeah you you, you it's not a uh, uh, you know you know how you, you know how the the band of brothers that you choose it mm -hmm. goes back to what we are saying that people are uh, people that are honest honest to you mm -hmm. people that you can lay your soul your heart your heart to mm -hmm. people who, say, who who you can tell by the way I'm 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 going through this and they will not judge you um 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 I'm going through even struggling with pornography, something like that, and they will they will still stick to you, uh, knowing that you are, you are you are struggling, knowing your struggles, they will still stick to you. So th those band of brothers are brothers that are honest with you, mm -hmm. and b brothers that you can be able to share everything with. So you, sh you should also have those fr particular identify those particular friends that are really honest with you, and you know that this friendship is 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 what is worth it not mm -hmm. not not friends that are, are are not building you in any way mm -hmm. but are just yeah. share after share uh, yeah okay yes. and why is it that men aren't allowed to cry the african man isn't allowed to cry um men men are allowed to are allowed to cry but to uh, to they choose they, 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 are, they are in a position to choose Mm -hmm. um the audience in if i today i cried on this set oh and you uh, will not like it <laughs> yeah, because now it's on the we are we are we are on tv mm -hmm. even the people will, will comment will be able to it's not a safe uh, uh, it's not a safe space, space for you to yeah cry. so mm -hmm. when when we say men when i say men are allowed to cry it's based on the audience you choose to mm -hmm. to cry. not everybody because uh, the next time um, uh, my employer wants to give me a job, he'll say, um, "Who you? Yeah, we are uh, uh, we are at mpe kazi light. Ntapewa kazi light. Who you? So so people will look at it in terms of as weak you as 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 weak. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a safe space for you to be vulnerable and and cry. Mm -hmm. And even through the program that we do and and have that space. Safe mm -hmm. space for men. Men there are able to cry because it's a safe, it's a safe place. It's a safe okay. space. So you choose your, you choose your audience. You don't, you don't just cry. You don't just cry. Any, 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 anyhow. Okay. So you choose the the audience that you can be able to to be vulnerable. You don't just go out there and start and start crying. Okay. Uh -huh. And even if you look at it, when you go outside here, and um, you are found crying somebody will ask you what's what's wrong mm -hmm. but when a, another person comes and passes by and finds me crying sema bwana mka nini shida yako nini shida yako kwa mtaro so how will be how will be will be handled both of us are so different the person will ask you what's wrong for my side i will be expected to to be to be hard wake up why are you crying but do you think we need to change that yeah, we need to change um, uh, how how we because the society has a high standard of what a man mm -hmm. should be, and sometimes we'll find that even in the society, we have a lot of a, a lot of pressure uh, in terms of of of, of there's a, a lot of expected of us, mm -hmm. so it keeps us so that that things that we can we can mm -hmm. we, we want to do. Yeah. But because of what society has 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 put on us, mm -hmm. we cannot be able to to do. The, so the society has ha, has us on the on the high that um, we expected to be too strong, even too, too strong, mm -hmm. and even we should be able to check uh, and uh, reevaluate re on uh, on the things that the society put on us, and even what the media puts on uh, on the on the on the telly on what um, masculinity should be so it, it, it is the message that is being passed there 
And once people know that now this is it, people try to, to, to follow that. So that's why we should be able to redefine what masculinity, what masculinity is. Not what, not what you know masculinity. We should be able to redefine. redefine. And mm -hmm. that's why I was saying a man should be able to take initiative. Yes, and I wanted to get back to that. Yeah, so. uh, Taking initiative it means in, um, in relationship, in your family. Uh, for example, if you are in a relationship, a man should be able to lead that re relationship. Mm -hmm. He's the co-driver of that relationship. Mm -hmm. He's the one who has pursued you. Mm -hmm. So he's the one leading the conversations of this particular relationship. Okay. When there is crisis, initiate conversations. He initiates those, those difficult conversations. Mm -hmm. So uh, I pursue you, Alafu. You, you, you should be able to be continue offer leadership in that particular relationship. Okay. So you, you take that initiative. Mm -hmm. Once you have taken that initiative, lead that that that, that relationship. Okay. Also in terms of um, faith, making sure that the your, the entire the entire family is um is grounded in the in in matters in matters faith. Mm -hmm. And also that as a man, you are not passive. You take initiative. We you are always active. You should be able to be active. You should be able to be aggressive. So that's what we say um, taking initiative is. And then number two was? Uh, living, living responsibly. Mm -hmm. As a man, you should be able to, to live uh, responsibly. Be, be, honest, be honest with yourself. How, how you carry out yourself out there. Mm -hmm. um, then we talk about leading, leading sacrificially. You should be able to offer, mm -hmm. offer service. Um, sacrifice mm -hmm. uh, over services to, to community, uh, sacrifice in that particular relationship by serving. Uh, and mm -hmm. also we look at faithfulness. Mm -hmm. You should be able to love faithfully. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have, um, I, I, I've, I've seen this uh, debate of you having more than one, mm -hmm. one, one wife. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to have one person that you are committed to and you are totally, totally faithful. And lastly, leave a wonderful legacy. What will you want to be remembered for mm -hmm. as a man? What will you want people to, to read uh, uh, at your funeral? Mm -hmm. So what legacy do you want to be remembered for? Yeah. So those are the five things uh, five. Mm -hmm. we talk about uh, what the definitions of, of, mm -hmm. of a man is. I feel we should replace this with tall, dark and handsome mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Yeah. Speaking to the ladies. Yeah. All right. So, and with all that, you need to have someone that you're accountable to, so that they make sure you're you're take, always taking initiative Jeez. in case you're diverting. They bring you back online uh, to ensure that you are uh, uh, loving faithfully. You are in leader, uh, you know, service, yes. and all that you've mentioned. Yeah. All right. So you should mm -hmm. also have accountability is key. If there's no way, even in both in both gender, in workplace, mm -hmm. in, um, in family, there's no way you can run away from accountability. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one dangerous thing that you, uh, you want to do life alone. You think you are the one who knows who, uh, and you, you don't want somebody to, to question or mm -hmm. ask, uh, ask you or probe you more on mm -hmm. what you're doing as a, as a person. So you can't do life alone. You should okay. be able to have accountability partner in every aspect of your life, family, mm -hmm. workplace, everywhere in the in the relationship, also have those accountability partners. Partners. And so, I, mm -hmm. so in every aspect, you can't run away from having accountability. Okay. These people are looking out for you. They mean good for you. They need. They mean growth. And uh, that's why I was saying it's it is more of uh, growth taking you to the next level. Mm -hmm. than looking looking accountability like uh, answering to a person. Don't look it at uh, as uh, answering to a person. It's look good. at it in terms of this, this is a, an opportunity to grow or to go to another, another level. You are learning uh, from those uh, that are ahead of you. You are learning from your, your peers who are keeping you accountable. And those that are behind you are looking up to you for accountability. Wow, amazing. I was about to close it, but I've just seen a question that has come in yes. from a viewer. Is it realistic to have a person of the opposite sex be accountable to you without mixed feelings involved? So let's say me, and then I have a male person being, uh, that I'm that holding me accountable. Will that work out well? 
it will not it will not um work out uh, uh work out well i'm i'm looking at okay. it in terms of having the same um opposite opposite gender mm -hmm. and we are sharing some some deep stuff mm -hmm. and are you in a position because now <laughs> When we start being vulnerable and you're from the opposite gender, yeah. there's, I, do, I don't know how you will run away from there's that uh, touch, uh, mm -hmm. there's that um, how connection I, that you build. There's that connection that you build mm -hmm. because this, this, this person is you, you're sharing with, you're sharing a lot, just not any, um, the that, that things that you can be able to share that are very surface, shallow, yeah. shallow. shallow. But when you have somebody that you are accountable, you are sharing some mm -hmm. deep stuff, there's something that you are struggling with, and at the end of the day, you guys, you will be able to be co connected in, in, in some way mm -hmm. because of the, of the sharing, yeah. and it will keep on having that. So this person will always keep con coming back, back to, to you. you. So if you have somebody, uh, for example, you want to talk to me, mm -hmm. you can always refer somebody to the other gender to the, 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 uh, of the same sex with them of the same of of the same sex mm -hmm. for example if if somebody is um is married and he uh, for example let's assume i'm, I'm married mm -hmm. and a lady comes to to me to share something that's something he can share with my so i will refer her to, to my wife. wife instead of having me being able to mm -hmm. to handle her at that particular level okay. so you can be able to to refer to avoid that particular scenario where you guys are going to be emotionally entangled. Connected, yeah. yeah. So that, that um, there's going to be an entanglement when you share um, some deep stuff with the opposite sex. But what if it's an elderly person, someone that's um, like a mentor, because a mentor maybe might be someone who's 20 years uh, older than you, but is of a different sex? Um, so th th there's something that I said previously. Men, men are made men in the company of other men. Mm -hmm. So there, there are some things you may not understand in your own context as a as a as a lady that you can be able to to help. So you will find that 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 things that you cannot be able to mm -hmm. to handle. So a lady cannot be able to um, let let's say that, that you help a man. So do you know how to become a man? <laughs> so no. for you to be able to have that partic uh, particular conversation, so a, a, a lady should not be in a position to be have, having that particular um, conversation. Con conversation unless you know as a lady how, to, how it means to be, to be a man. To Even be a with, man. with uh, maybe you, unless you look at that person who is bigger and as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a mentor, some somebody but again the person uh, in, in in his own wisdom should be able to refer you to someone you can be able to to connect with you can share to with him to a certain extent especially on career um on career on career you can be able to share mm -hmm. but now when we say we go to personal 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 life. stuff mm -hmm. you can be able to share to some extent mm -hmm. but when i feel that this 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 at, at for this particular point i should be able to put a boundary. boundary yeah so i should be able to know this one now we are going overboard and when you come mm -hmm. more closer it will lead to something else so you, you okay. can have a, a, that conversation to a certain extent but not to a certain extent again putting that particular boundary okay. so that you don't go to another overboard overboard all right yeah. so use wisdom wisdom is the principal thing wisdom, yes. <laughs> okay thank you very much uh austin Asante. it's been a pleasure having this conversation with you Karibu. where can people get you on your social media platform and what program are you running that is your camera yeah on social media you can find me at austin agwanda uh in all social media platform uh, the program we do is called um, Man Enough. Uh, you can also look at uh, in all social media platforms. We uh, it's a space safe space for 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 men. So uh, go uh, to those particular social medias, and you can be able to have those particular conversation and uh, make sure that uh, we are redefining masculinity mm -hmm. and uh, boy child and
Yeah. Amazing. Uh, you have said it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Austin. So that has been uh, Austin Agwanda, who's a masculinity advocate, also a media personality, and they're championing for um, at least uh, non-toxic masculinity. That is, uh, you know, uh, you, what have you said? It's called the program? Man Enough. Man Enough. So you are Man Enough. You can join that particular program. Today we have been talking about accountability in matters career and even in personal life, delving also into men and accountability. I hope that has helped you one way or the other. Thank you for staying with us. More is to come. Y254 is the channel. Uh, Y254 channel is a platform where you can talk to us using the hashtag Why in the Morning. My name is Stephanie Ayata. We take a short break and then we'll be right back.